Hi YouTube, um, today I'll be making a video on how to install Fallout 3 mods. Okay, so we're here at the Fallout 3 Nexus forums. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where the, uh, the link to this internet site. Um, okay, first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download two files. One is Archive Invalidation Invalidated which just lets you load custom textures and things and the Fallout Mod Manager. This is just to easily um, select your mods. Okay, so you're going to go to this website and you're going to scroll down to specific games. Then you're going to click on Fallout 3 and you're going to go down and you're going to type, uh, click on Uploaded Files. Okay, so now you're going to go down to um, the search forum and you're going to enter Archive uh, No Spaces Invalidation and hit enter. So um, that's just going to load up. Okay, I'm pretty sure mine's not on the first page. So um, go to the second page and there it is. Archive Invalidation Invalidated. So you're going to click on that, and that's going to bring up a forum page. So, um, yeah. Now, on the forum page, you're going to click on the uh, link. All mods will have this link, so um, it's just it should be the first text in the entire uh, page. So you're just going to click that. That's going to bring up this page in a separate tab or window, and um, it gives you a little description of what it does. Uh, the version history, so what they've patched. And um, then you've got your files. Uh, there's two files here, but just go with the um, program version recommended. So um, click that. I already have it um, in my downloads. So program version recommended right there. And there's the full mod manager. But um, you're going to go here, and also this has the, um, the images an image of the thing, so you just click on the image and it brings up what it is. Um, uh, the comments, so everyone that's commented on it, tags, action log, uh, the rating, the version, all that sort of stuff. But um, So you're going to download that and you're just going to install it to somewhere, it doesn't matter, it's just anywhere. Then you're going to go back here and you're going to hit back and when you're on this page again you're going to scroll up and Fallout Mod Manager should be right there. So you're going to click on that, and once again it's going to bring up this thing, just click on the, thi uh, the link, and exactly the same, it's got the picture of what it is, and it's got two files. Uh, the top one should be the right one, and if you're not sure if there's more than two, um, just look for the highest number, or go up here to the version and it'll tell you the latest version, which is 0.913. So 0913, so that one. Click on that. I've, as I said, I've already got it. So you're going to do that, and you're just going to extract that, or open it, install it to um, wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Now, you're going to go back here, and we're going to get a mod. Now, um, just keep, keep hitting back until you get to this page, which is the uploaded files page. Now... Um, I've looked at this one previously, and it, it looks pretty good, so I'm going to get this one. Um, so, Alexander's Oblivion's Wings converted to Fallout 3. Okay, so um, we're here. Um, a description. This is a novelty mod. Please keep that in mind when you're judging and or, com or commenting. So, it gives a description, the details, um, how to install it. This will all be on the README that is downloaded with the file, I'm pretty sure. So, I'll show you some of the images of it. Alright, so here we go. Um, these black wings look pretty cool. So, you know, there you go. That's what it'll put inside the game. It'll just put wings on your body. Um, this guy's got all of them in one photo, so we'll just take a quick look at that. Alright, so there you go. And, um, alright, so there's the comments, as I said, and the rating. So you're going to go to Files, 
And, um, see, so that looks like just dragon wings. We're just going to go with all of them. So just click it. Um, this doesn't always come up, but it's just selecting a server. So just click on normal server, Washington, D.C. All right. Okay, so this means you have to log in. So just, I guess you have to make an account. But not all mods are like this. So, um, you know, if you don't want to make an account, you don't have to. You just have to find one that doesn't make you log in. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to log in. And, uh, see, downloading file. So your file is being prepared for download. There it is. So this is actually a very big file for a mod. It, it's it's um, 8.5 megabytes. So um, I'm just going to uh, pause the video and wait for that to download. Okay, so we're back, and that's just finished downloading. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the downloads page, or, you know, if it just comes up straight away. It should be a zip file. So, um, you know, just click on it and unzip it. Uh, you will need WinRAR for this. WinRAR is free, but um, for some reason it always says after your 40 day trial period you have to buy a license, but you can just say close and it still does exactly what it normally would do. So, um, so this has um, got, isn't in one folder. So I'm going to go to my mod folder and I'm going to make a folder for it. So, um, Okay, so here are all my mods. Now we're going to go to new folder, and we're going to call it uh, ribbons, ribbons wings. I'm pretty sure. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to exit that. Now we're going to extract it to the location. So uh, down here, down here. Now we're going to find the folder I've just made, so, there it is, Riven's Wing. So we're going to click that and go OK. It's going to extract them all, so it's done. Now we're going to exit that, and we're going to go back to the folder. And we're going to go to... Uh, wherever it is, the um, there it is down the bottom. All right, so all right here we've got where to find the wings. So an image telling you where to um, find them. So it's right when you leave the vault. It's just back around the hill, and they'll be right there. Overturn Nuka Cola fridge where you can find the wings. All right. So exit out of that. Then there's a README. This will tell you how to install it and uninstall it and 